Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of isoproterenol. Isoproterenol is a direct acting synthetic catecholamine. It predominantly stimulates beta 1 and beta 2 adrenergic receptors. Its action is non-selective. Its action on the alpha receptor is not significant at all. So what are the actions of isoproterenol? On the cardiovascular system, it stimulates the beta-1 receptors, increases the rate and force of contraction. So both the inotropic and chronotropic action on the heart and it increases the cardiac output. It decreases peripheral resistance, increases systolic blood pressure and decreases mean arterial blood pressure. It decreases mean arterial blood pressure because of vasodilation, decreasing peripheral resistance but its force of contraction rate is very high so increase in cystic blood pressure and there is decrease in mean arterial blood pressure there is the blood pressure between systolic and diastolic addition divided by two so what is the action of isoproterenol on respiratory system it is a strong and rapid bronchodilator and the action may last two three hours two to three hours okay so it is a strong and rapid bronchodilator other insignificant effect it increases blood sugar it increases blood sugar by the way it is action on the pancreatic islet cell so it de decreases the secretion of insulin increases the secretion of glucagon it also increases the lipolysis that is the breakdown of lipid what are the therapeutic uses of isoproterenol presently it is because it is not selective we have better medication than that of the isoproterenol Therefore, it is rarely used for therapeutic purposes at, at this time. It can be used to treat bronchial asthma because it is a bronchodilator, a rapid acting bronchodilator, and strong bronchodilator, and that lasts around three hours. So, it can be used to treat bronchial asthma, also to treat bradycardia, but again, for bradycardia, atropine is a better drug, but it can be used and to stimulate the heart in emergency situation like cardiac arrest or heart block like Stokes Adams syndrome. As it increases AV conduction and ventricular automaticity. So these are the therapeutic uses. Now pharmacokinetics. Isoproterenol is well absorbed through the sublingual, parenteral, it may be intravenous and maybe intramuscular, and inhalation aerosol administration. Isoproterenol is metabolized by COMT, that is catechol O methyl transferase, but it can stand the monoamine oxidase inhibitor action. Isoproterenol is a substrate for the COMT. It is metabolized by the COMT catecholine omethyl transferase. Adverse effects of isoproterenol include tachycardia, angina lata, headache, and tremors. These are due to sympathetic overactivity, intracranial hemorrhage due to high blood pressure, cardiac arrhythmia that may also possible. It may cause tracheoarrhythmia. Okay, it may be irregular, but it may be increased rate, tracheoarrhythmia. 
and that's all about the pharmacology of the isoproterenol if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now